Welcome everyone, today we'll have another chess hunting guide. In this video, I'll be showing you two of the chests that are not located on the interactive map. So the first chest we'll have a look is in Mondstadt. The Mondstadt chest is actually a hidden chest similar to the one you saw before standing on the tree branch. This one you have to interact with something else and this activate the chest. I'll show you guys the replay, but the location should be around over here. <laughs> I have no more pins, I've been pinned too many things lately. And the second chest is where I'm standing, over here. Let's have a look at the interactive map before we start. Just to be double sure we haven't collected those chests. So you can see there is no chest location over here for us. And over here you can see that there is no chest indication over here for us. The chest is actually pretty much right on the red dot over here. And you'll be looking at one luxurious chest and one precious chest. Here we are with the first hidden chest in Mondstadt. I was a little off the mark, it wasn't over here, but it was over here. So you start over here, but you end up over there once you get the chest. Let me show you what I mean by that. So we're going to go through the replay. And what you want to see is, once you get to this point on the map, and I was looking at the sky. So you can see there is a hidden little dot over here that's sparkling. And I'm not sure if the time of the day matters, but I found it at night. And with the helpful viewers suggested to try this out. So just simply by climbing up here and touching the dot, you initiate a bunch of the circles. You just follow the circles, there's no time limit, and following circles will be easy as long as you don't fall off. If you do fall off, I'm not sure what happens, you probably have to climb back up. And yeah, just follow the circles, and as they lead you, they will eventually come to a finish. Over here, very soon. That's pretty nice though. <laughs> Good sensation of going through the circles, and it's like a little rainbow afterwards. So this is where we end up with, and you see the luxurious chest. Very beautiful. It is a level 4 chest, so you do have a chance of getting a 4 star artifact. I wasn't very lucky on this one, but I did get 30 adventure experience and 10 primal gems. And this one was not showing in Mondstadt. Our second chest is located on this particular star sign. You can see that on the minimap with a little red dot. With the Glim playing in warp point, what we do is we just keep running towards there. And you can see me highlighting where it is, and we'll just keep running over there. There isn't that much to show for as we get there. Pretty straightforward. It's right behind this mountain. And what you can do is you can climb the mountain or you can go around the mountain. I do believe there are some interactives back here with the tree and the mountain, but I probably have collected them before. So coming over here, I don't see any of the insects of interest. So coming through the mountain, it's right behind this tree. Make sure you come to this hut over here. It is guarded by a pack of trolls, so make sure you defeat the trolls. After defeating the trolls, you should be able to see this precious chest where I'm standing. Now this one is not located on the interactive map as well, but I do believe I have just randomly came across the chest. I have looted before, but I want to show you guys the pathway to get to the chest. I didn't record during the time of the looting, but with the help for screenshot of one of a field of viewers who actually showed me this particular chest location, I was able to show you guys what the chest looks like when you come to the hut. And this also touches us right nicely to say a special thank you to all the viewers who actually shared the chest locations with me. There is Nightstar with this particular location, which he actually checked that it's not on the interactive map. There is also Jozo who showed me this particular interaction with the stars or the little sparkles in Mondstadt. That also showed me this as well. So both of them showed me this particular location and I was able to find them and show you guys this particular chest. Now before we finish, you might be wondering, hey Matt, why don't you give us a lot of chess locations than just two? Why are you saving those? And you know, why don't you post like 10 or 20 chess locations at once? To be honest, I have not been able to save any of the chess locations. I've been making them as I come by. I've been checking Reddit regularly, you know, spend 10, 20 minutes when I'm free to check Reddit and go through all of the posts to see anything that's interest of us. And I've been checking and going through all of the conversations with the viewers who actually message me, you know, talking to me about hidden treasures, tips and guides. So I go through all of them, but it does take me quite a bit of time to go through. And if I do come across chests, I try to find at least two at the start of the day and make a video about it. If there's three, I'm happy to make three. So I'm not trying to limit it at three or two chests, but whatever I find in the morning, I will be able to post for you guys. One of the reasons I don't want to save up for the chest is because I want to get it off for you guys as quickly as I can, because, you know, Venti Banner is going to be ending in about 10 hours, 11 hours, and I want to make another video on Kill as well. But I want to prepare you guys as much Primal Gems as you can, and also, you know, it's a nice thing to start the day off with a hidden treasure, with something that starts your day a little brighter. You know, it makes you feel joyful to find something that's not found in the map. 
And finally, of course, if you do come across hidden treasures, chests, and you do realize it's not often found by people, give me a message and let's talk about it. If it's worth a while to make a video and to let the community know about it, we'll definitely look into it. And I'm so grateful to have you guys messaging me. And, you know, I was able to help some of the players to get through to some of the things. And I think one of the players were asking me if I can purchase something on the account for them. But my recommendation was never give your account to anyone, guys, because two reasons. One is that it leads to the security of your account to be you know, not safe. Secondly, the developers are very strict on trading and selling. If they see your account as being transferring across regions, continents, and you know, IPs, they might see you that you traded the account and they might ban the account directly. They always reserve the right to ban accounts, so definitely be aware of that. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with sketching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.